sometimes our experiments just don't go quite the way we want them to. So this plant here uh, was our goldfish plant, and this is the one that my irrigation system stopped working in the particular location where it was, and within 24 hours or less, uh, they all kind of shriveled up and died. So this is what our node versus inner node cuttings were. And I do see one, one green leaf left on our node cuttings and none on our inner node cuttings. What else do I see here? I see, let's, let's just dig this sucker up and see if there's anything under there. No, it looks like we weren't getting any roots on that at all yet. Oh, actually, you know what? I see some little callus material down here. This this may actually still, it'd be a stretch, but this may actually still turn into something there. Oh, there's another one over here. Hey guys, they're not totally dead. What? They're close though. They're really close. Oh, I knocked the leaf off on this one. But this one also was starting to get some little callus tissue on here. This one, if it had another couple of weeks, might have grown. So we have a possibility of two. Two for node. You know what, let's just dig them up. Let's just dig them up and take a look. That one's totally dry. I figured they would all be dry. Oh, you know what, underground. No, nope, that still doesn't have anything. There was one time where I propagated this um, rare sticky monkey flower and I had this whole tray of propagation going. I was doing it for this preserve that like they had this van that path that they were going to make that was going to cut into the road further and this endangered plant was in the way and so I propagated this whole tray of cuttings and then the plant propagation class ended and they threw away their stuff and they thought that my cuttings were also part of the stuff that was supposed to get thrown away. I ended up salvaging them and I had 50 cuttings but I ended up with like six I think. Anyways, at least they had one to go back to the preserve. I don't see anything on any of these guys. Oh, this is all the inner node, though. So with the inner node, we didn't expect to really see anything, right? Because there's no node to grow into anything. Let's let's check out this uh, node at the bottom, though. We have two. Oh my goodness! This look at this. This has callus forming right here around the base. That's one. Oh, we had these two as well. So let's say we're up to three now. I, these might actually go. Okay, no, this one is toast. That one's toast. That one's toast. We got that one. Oh, this one has this one has stuff starting to grow in it too. Now we're up to four. Oh, and here's another one. Five. Nope. Six. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so surprised at this. Seven. No. Nope. Oh, eight. Oh my goodness. You guys. Nine. Look at that one. That one's getting a big honker little root on there. Oh my goodness. Nine. This is so surprising. Oh, this one has some nice ones. I'll take a, I'll use that one as your cover shot. Ten. Just in case that was too blurry when I showed it to you guys. Okay. Uh, yep, I'm gonna, that one has them too. Eleven. Nope. Well, that was a super big surprise. Twelve. So we have twelve goldfish plants that have roots poking out of those nodes and zero from the inner nodes. And here I thought this experiment was completely bunked. So what a surprise. Um, oh my goodness, that's so exciting.